So now even the stars are doing reactions. Akasan's on its reactions. Akasan, let me go ahead and close that window right now. It's uh, after 12 o'clock right now. Don't want to upset people too much. So let's go ahead and take a look here at um, the Star Wars, the cast of Star Wars reacting to the trailers. We're going to start with a small one real quick. Um, I apologize if I pronounce her name wrong. Daisy Ridley. Uh, she posted on Instagram a very short little clip. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one first. And then we'll get to the bigger one. Let's see how she reacts to her own trailer. <coughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh my god, it's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's so short though with Instagram, it's very hard to react to something like that. Luckily, uh superhero Superhero News have put together a nice long full reaction. This one is from uh, John Boyega. Chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> just joking, just joking. Anyways, um, I want to see what this one. Everybody told me I needed to react to this one. A reaction. High level reaction on top of that. Let's take a look what it's all about. Right here. Let me see. I said, let me see. Technology moving across YouTube into Instagram. Here we go. What is he wearing? <laughs> this fool look like he came out of Captain EO and shit. His homie looked like he got a thriller jacket on. <laughs> Damn, you look like you're about to cry now. This is cool superhero news, the way you cut this. I like this. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. I'm finished. What do you start? He can feel it. He can. I think this is like the first time he really feels it being put together. Come as, on, come on. Yeah. Yeah, he can really feel it finally being put together. <laughs> He's ready. Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> Woo! This was their best trailer. Though. He's gonna love this slap. Yes! I wanna hug him too. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Kylo Ren. Oh, shit. Sorry, black folk thing. We just get really excited. We all go ape shit at the same time. No, I know exactly what it means, but I, I get it because I get it. I, I get it as an actor. Probably Tyrone can explain this a little more, but like when you're filming a scene, you don't really know how it's going to be cut, like how it's going to come out, the, what the final direction is going to be. There's a lot of things you think is happening but it isn't until and it's very important it isn't until it hits that editing bay that you really start to see 
the product unfold. And it's very important. The editors are very important. That's why they get paid so much. Um, uh, not me, but that's why the, uh, the real Hollywood people. I have a friend who works in Fox that does uh, sound and such, and it's just crazy how you can really start to see the final product in the editing bay. Um, that's what really can sometimes make or break a movie. And then the trailers are even more important the way they're cut um, to show. But so I, I guarantee you that was the first time he really saw like the actual cinema. S mm, how can I say? The actual way it's to be seen in the cinemas. He probably saw something called dailies, which is like what they when they film it. You just kind of see like raw footage, but if you don't, without the music, just raw footage, you really don't know. So, anyways, that's the reason why he went ape shit. Because you, like the rest of us, it was all building to that moment, and it was just like, oh shit, like that. So, that's dope though. I'm so psyched for him too. <sighs> <laughs> Yo, quick thing I want to say real quick is that I went ahead, I actually bought, um, I made a decision, a financial decision. If you saw my weekly Wednesday What's Up, I told you about my con costume for Halloween. But on top of that, just all the love I've been receiving from like the hardcore Star Wars fans and the acceptance, like they, they basically said the Force was with me, which meant a lot. Because as you guys know, my previous Star Wars reaction didn't pan out so well but it's cool that they understood like they it's cool that they basically gave me acknowledgement that I understood what the franchise is all about and uh, I feel like I can be a legit fan again or whatever anyways the main point I was gonna say was I did get a lightsaber for my Halloween costume but besides all that uh, a lot of the members of the Red Dreaded Nation gave me some more information on even more levels of lightsabers. I will be making a custom lightsaber in the future. Just to have. Put that shit on the wall and shit. And it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Not right now because I'm unemployed and living in a fucking closet and some shit. But in the near future, hopefully, hopefully before the movie comes out... I'll have that custom Akasun lightsabers. If you guys have any idea how to go about that, I get them. Because I've seen some cool things, but I don't mind $300 or whatever. But, uh, not right now, unemployed. But in the future, I just hope it can ship to me here in Japan in time. I'm ready, though. He's ready. Fuck, man. Yeah, that last scene got me so hyped. I've always had a thing for the Star Wars lore. I've always respected it, but I've always had a thing for the bad guys, red and black, just in uh, uh, Kylo, looks dope. I don't know much about him, I want to really get him to him, but I gotta wait till the movie comes out because, you know, I knew Darth Maul was going to be fucking badass because of Ray Park, but Kylo, he might be cool, he might, may not, I don't know, but... I don't want to start buying shirts and posters and all. You know what? You kind of know what I mean about that. So I just want to be my own thing, red and black, and have my own custom lightsaber. Fuck, that'd be fucking dope. Yeah, I think I definitely would be more Sith, or I would. Uh, I would have. Uh, what do you call it? Force. Um, force sensitive. Yeah, I'd be force sensitive, but mm, I'd be very much on that line of. The dark and the light. Hmm. Very so force sensitive though. Alright guys. I'm going to make one more video about that later. Because my video, my other video is blowing up real... God damn it. Real well. But it's too late for me to get too psyched. In the meantime. I'm trying to think of something cool to say. Maybe I'll just say goodbye. Yes, let the hate... No, now I just look like E.T. E.T. found home. Peace. Yes.
Oh shit! Something is impossible!